Somewhere I read uh, the lines that these are sad words we can even dance to. Well, this was the Milonga del Angel by Astor Piazzolla. He composed that uh, piece in 1965 as part of his Angel series, and uh, there are many transcriptions. He himself uh, recorded later on the album Zero, and, uh, and I performed it in the guitar version. First of all, it's a beautiful milonga. It's a milonga campera, which is a slow one. And somewhere I read uh, the lines that these are sad words we can even dance to. So that's a little bit the message. It's a very sad melody, but the milonga rhythm is boom, 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 it is going through. So whatever you perform, it should be not too much rubato, uh, at least not killing uh, the basic tempo. Well, this milonga is a contribution to anybody's repertoire who really wants a challenge. I mean, to play real music uh, from Piazzolla, Argentine tango, tango nuevo. And it's not an easy piece. Uh, but it's still accessible. Um, and this transcription, uh, it's not that complicated as some of, of the current transcriptions who try to imitate exactly what the uh, Piazzolla Quintetto uh, played, performed. That's not possible on the guitar, and it kills your finger. And uh, we should always be aware uh, that for tango, the expressiveness uh, of the interpretation and how you play the melodies uh, should always be guaranteed. And if your fingers, and we only have four in the left hand, uh, if they are too much occupied uh, by gripping all the chords, pressing strings down, there's no finger left for the espressivo. And we need that espressivo, otherwise it's a difficult exercise. And we want to have a central experience when we perform and, as a listener, when we hear as the Piazzolla's music. For this composition, I used um, my Santos Hernandez for 1925. Um, this is a typical Madrid, a gato de la calle, I call it. Um, it's uh, the typical Spanish Madrid guitar on its highest level. And and it has an extremely passionate sound. Uh, I wouldn't call it the highest beauty in the sense of good sounding harmonious uh, guitar sound. No, it's very passionate. It tells you something about life, about love and death. And that's why I choose uh, that for, for this piece. So if you have the milonga. So this is true and deep passion. Uh, there's even more than on the bandoneon, because on the bandoneon you wouldn't have these variations of color, and it's a little bit thin sound. And on the guitar you get a little bit more uh, a wood instrument like violin and all that, and cello. You have this espressivo, like a, this kind of rhythmic energy and the espressivo. 
that's the specific thing about the guitar and we really have to bring out uh, the music which is suitable on the guitar and then we have to play really guitar with all the possibilities with the colors with the imaginations of landscapes of orchestration and not limit us to one sound for the entire piece we need orchestration <laughs> Well, you have to ask your purse, uh, you have to check out what is your budget, but bef above all, I mean, this can be endless to answer this question, but basically, you have to ask yourself, why I'm playing guitar? What is the, the magic I do that? That's the question you ask equally as a professional or as an amateur. And the word amateur comes from amare, to love something. So an amateur should really be in love with the instrument and hopefully the professionals too. And um, so, and if it comes to expression, um, then as I mentioned before, um, expression must come from the soul of the, of the instrument. An expression on a flute will be different from an oboe. And so uh, the expression of the piano, if you play the same milonga on the piano, it will be different from the guitar. You have a more sustaining piano, but at the same time you have something intimate in the guitar sound, something touching your soul, which is a little bit difficult to achieve on the piano. It's possible, but it's very difficult. So um, you have to choose uh, your instrument first, which suits your fingers, suits your ears, your listening. And then also the question is, do you want to perform any kind of music, any genre, any style, or do you have several guitars? We say, okay, for tango and albanis, I play the Spanish guitar, for Bach, I play German guitar, or whatever cliche you want to follow. Um, well, as I said, it can be a very long extended uh, answer to a short question. Um, okay, check your money and check your taste. I'm offering a mentoring program um, which is not limited to a special level of players. Uh, I work with guitarists on any level, I mean, besides a, le a very basic one, but um, uh, from what we call amateur to the highest professional level. So it's up to you where you start and where you end up. Uh, so definitely this uh, could be a theme for my mentoring program because the mentoring program um, checks all the factors in your musicianship. Uh, that means the preparation, the kind of how you sit on your chair, how you fail your nails, how you plug the strings, how you press the strings, uh, how do you warm up before you play, and how do you choose your repertoire. So, if that piece is within your reach and not too difficult, and in fact it's not extremely difficult, it is difficult, but it's not extremely difficult, uh, then we can go on from there and can go far beyond. If your level would be lower, then I, maybe I would say, oh, not that me longer. Let's have another piece, uh, for example, these excellent arrangements by Agustin Calavaro. Uh, he arranged fantastically at the traditional Argentine tango and much more easy than this and very authentic. So there's a solution for everybody. But important, the mentoring um, accompanies you. You're not lost alone with that. And uh, we go step for step and um, in any aspects of the music. And I say the music, and not just the guitar. If you're interested uh, in the mentoring program, it's simple, you click on the link below, you come to the website, you check it out and see if that interests you. And then you just grab a free appointment where we can talk about what's the program about and if that suits to you. I would be really excited uh, to see you again and uh, I wanna see if you grab the ball I'm throwing to you.